Hi, you're watching the news with me. I'm Dipavali Hazra. These are the headlines at the top of six. CGI Ranjan Gogoi said that the Supreme Court would conclude arguments in the Ayodhya land dispute case by October the 18th so that there may be a verdict on the matter by mid-November. CGI Gogoi is set to retire on November the 17th and hopes to expedite the protracted title dispute case by working extra hours if need be. The top court also said that mediation efforts may continue alongside the court hearings. In a big decision, the union government has decided to ban e-cigarettes, stop all production and sale of the device that was designed as an alternative to smoking that would wean addicts off nicotine but has proved to do otherwise. Making the announcement, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said that the key reason was the alarming rate at which vaping had caught on among youngsters. The union cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Modi has approved a productivity-based bonus for railway employees to maintain industrial peace and motivation among railway men. The bonus will be equivalent to 78 days of wages and 11.52 uh, lakh government employees are set to benefit. Union Minister Prakash Javadekar said that this is the sixth straight year that employees will get a productivity-linked bonus. The European Parliament supported India on the Kashmir issue, calling Pakistan an ambiguous country. Backing India, members of the Parliament said that it was essential to look at terror acts in India and acknowledge the fact that the terrorists infiltrated from the neighbouring country. Members of the Parliament condemned Pakistan for providing a safe haven to terrorists. In a video captured of the incident, Indian troops can be seen successfully thwarting an infiltration attempt by Pakistan's border action team. This infiltration or attempted bat action took place over the 12th and 13th of September and was ably foiled by Indian troops. Army sources say that Pakistan is continuously attempting infiltration and that there were 15 such attempts made in August alone. After Kamal Hassan, now actor-turned-politician and Southern superstar Rajni Kant has also thrown his weight behind those protesting against the alleged imposition of Hindi as a national language countrywide. Rajni Kant said that a common language is necessary for unity and progress, but no language should be imposed upon the people. A bipartisan group of 44 influential lawmakers has urged the Trump administration to reinstate India's designation as a beneficiary developing nation under the key GSP trade program. This comes just ahead of the Howdy Modi event in which Trump confirmed his participation, marking an unprecedented moment in Indo-US relations. The lawmakers are hoping for a potential trade deal between the two countries. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee is set to meet Prime Minister Modi today for what she terms as a courtesy call. This is incidentally the first meeting between Mamata Banerjee and the Prime Minister after he took charge of office for his second term. Ahead of the meeting in New Delhi, Mamata Banerjee had a chance encounter with the Prime Minister's wife, Jashoda Men, at the Kolkata airport. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.